Island to weather Chevy Chevalier. 651 on your Wednesday morning, already to Wednesday. Almost halfway there. Partly cloudy skies, and we had some nice colors this morning. Didn't really have the sun uh, obstructed that much as we did oh, previous mornings, I guess before yesterday morning. Right now, the winds are out of the east, northeast, on average about 5 to 10 miles per hour, although Kahului is at 13 miles per hour, 9 for Honolulu and for Lihui. Notice what you don't see. The high surf advisory is gone. No high surf warning, of course, either. And the small craft advisory until 6 p.m. this evening. That's once again today for Alanui Haha Channel, Leeward Waters, and Southern Waters uh, south of the uh, Big Island. So how about your shower activity? We have a few showers out and about. Uh, southern portions of on the windward side of Kauai have some shower activity. Even some yellows and a little bit of orange in there, too. So maybe a, a quick little downpour. But not so much for, for the situation on Oahu. I mean, uh, very scarce as far as shower activity very similar to yesterday so not much on the windward side to say nothing about uh, the leeward side this morning so your commute should be dry this morning on the leeward side anyway Maui County seeing scattered light showers same situation at least for the windward side of the big island looking pretty good some shower activity there along the Hamakua coast your beach forecast once again today 12.1 is your UV index so back into the extreme category partly cloudy to mostly sunny Box jellyfish threat today is low, and for tomorrow through Sunday, it is high. So be aware of that. Manual uh, water temperature is 79.3 degrees. That's up about 0.6 degrees since uh, last week. So. Uh, that says something about tropical cyclones, right? So you can see 83 degrees, 85 degrees this afternoon. Uh, looking at Waikiki, mostly sunny, 86 for high. Overnight, looking at some cloud coverage, windward maca showers possible. The best chance for windward maca showers and maybe uh, spilling over the leeward side is going to be Friday morning. We have a little bit of an upper level disturbance passing over the state from the Big Island up toward Kauai as we go from Thursday into Friday. Otherwise, looking pretty good and looking the same for the next. Not just uh, seven days, but even uh, beyond that. So here's your tropical update tropical storm Estelle. So it was 65 mile per hour yesterday, uh, only 60. So it did weaken and it's going to continue to weaken, of course. And it slows down. So that kind of threw a wrench in the plans of getting any kind of shower activity for midweek next week. It looks as if the remnants, if they get here, won't make it until not this weekend, but the next weekend. Hopefully, we can get some rain shower activity out of the remnants of Estelle. That would be fantastic news. So there's that better chance for some showers on Friday morning. Other than that, just breezy trade winds Saturday through Sunday all the way to the beginning of next week and beyond. It's a carbon copy forecast <laughs> Groundhog Day <laughs> all the way through uh, Thursday for your plus two forecast. That's a look at your weather forecast. Now Gary has your surf forecast. Good morning, Gary. Hey, good morning, Chevy. Yeah, we're looking at 2 to 3 in town. The south swell is now average. We're looking at three-footers out at Sandy's and Makapu'u. Oh, looking fun in the shore break at Sandy's. And Makaha's just two feet when the sets roll from the south. And the north shore is flat to a foot if you want to dive, paddle, fish, and sail. Now, trades are with us for the long haul. Small craft advisories tagging along. The high tide rolling up at 11, dropping out at 5 o'clock. Sun setting 7.15, rising a minute uh, later at 6 a.m. And that is the update.